Hello, Internet, and welcome to Behind the Meme, where we take a look at the meaning and the origin of your favorite memes and trends. Today, we have a look at YouTube Poop. That's Mama Thank you so very much to each and every single one of my amazing viewers who take time out of their day to suggest topics for my next video. Your guys' comments help shape this channel. So make sure to let me know what you would like to see next and maybe I'll be able to make it happen. You guys wanted it, now you have it. Here we go. YouTube poop, YouTube poop, YouTube poop. I've mentioned YouTube poop so many times in other videos that by now, some of you may be thinking that our poor buddy YouTube is suffering from irritable bowel syndrome, which is understandable because I always gave vague definitions on the subject, but never truly went into detail on the topic. Well, it's finally time to explore this rabbit hole a little bit deeper. Now, to attempt to truly define YouTube poop videos is like attempting to throw a donkey at a basketball hoop or beating a ghost in a boxing match. You know what? I'm doing a really bad job at trying to explain myself. What I'm trying to say is defining YouTube poop is kind of possible, but at the same time impossible. But have no fear. Other people who are much smarter and wiser than myself have attempted to define the genre. So let's have a look at a couple definitions. The Know Your Meme webpage dedicated to the topic defines the genre as a video that has been made with appropriated footage and collage editing techniques for the purpose of either annoying or entertaining viewers. And the Wikipedia page for YouTube Poop has a similar definition, defining it as a type of video mashup created by editing pre-existing media sources for humorous, confusing, and shocking purposes. So to sum it all up, YouTube Poops are videos that use other video content in new and remixed ways creating a new product in the process. A product that is edited to be random, humorous, and most of all, bizarre. You know, kind of like that one kid in class who would always eat the paste. Now, although the genre is too broad to accurately define, a few patterns and techniques have emerged through its existence. Commonly used editing techniques used within the genre are known as poopisms. Which, quick little side note, while I was researching this topic, I was on the Know Your Meme site and I saw this link for poopisms. I decided to click on it and when I did, I went to this whole other site that I think is the wrong site. Um, I'm not complaining or anything, but uh, I just thought it was worth mentioning. Uh, what were we talking about again? Right, poopisms. Now, some of the defining poopisms that the videos use are ear rape, which is the process of making the audio loud to the point of distortion, reversing clips, both audio and visual, stutter loops, which is the process of taking an isolated section of video and making it repeat several times, repeat several times, repeat several times, and also sentence shifting, which is taking audio from the clip or other clips and cutting them up to create a new, often humorous sentence. I am a dumb ass, but that's just a small handful of the commonly used poopisms within YouTube poop videos. There is a much longer list of all the poopisms used on the YouTube poop wikia page if you're interested. Along with the poopisms, a handful of commonly used source materials have helped define the genre. Some commonly used sources are the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, Billy Mays infomercials, King of the Hill, SpongeBob, and Arthur just to name a very small amount. In reality, there is no limit or specification to what you have to use to create a YouTube poop video. The genre of video has been around for quite a while now. Although there is speculation as to when and who created the very first YouTube poop video, what is known is that the video was first uploaded to YouTube on November 27th, 2006, which is titled, I'd Say He's Hot On Our Tail, and features a clip from the Super Mario Brothers 3 cartoon. <laughs> The genre of video has continued to evolve in impressive ways, having dedicated creators and a fan base that celebrate the funny and bizarre videos that have been produced. These basic YouTube poop videos have even branched off into subgenres, the most popular of which is the YouTube poop music videos, more commonly known as YTP MV, which is the same concept as the regular poop edits, but only with the addition of music.
YouTube poop videos are often classified as being on the weird side of YouTube. While this may be true, there's no denying their impact and influence on meme culture. You can clearly see their influence in many of the recent video memes that have started to become popular here on YouTube. So when you really start to think about it, in a weird way the YouTube poop videos are kind of like the grandfather of today's memes. So there you have it. YouTube poop videos started off as a way to remix and edit pre-existing videos before influencing the popular meme formulas we know and love today. But hey, that's the internet for you and on the internet, memes are king. Gah, gah, gah. Thank you all so very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe so you can catch my next video and stay up to date on all your favorite memes. Who knows, you may learn about a meme you never knew about before. I'll catch you beautiful people next time. Luigi with one of eight essential Yay. prizes inside.